So this is what happens every single time I shave to maintain that appearance of what the military deem as a leader, to be clean shave. Doesn't matter what I use, a clipper, straight razor, nothing works. This is the result every time. All right, Shalom. First, I want to start by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Yahweh Kodash, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai being the name of His beloved Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's their true names in the Lashon Kodash, the ancient Hebrew. Okay, the only names you call upon for salvation if you're an Israelite, the Israelites being so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans today, as well as the Israelite foreigners that have taken on the appearance of the heathen. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great most along the true leaders of our nation, and uh, blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. Okay, I'm back with another lesson through the spirit and power of your help, Shai. And the title I'm going to give this lesson is Stop Shaving, Jake. Pseudo uh, follow colitis. Stop shaving, Jake. Pseudo follow colitis. Okay, and pseudo follow colitis, if I'm saying that correctly, as you can see on the screen, is uh, what they what they uh, uh, call razor bumps. Okay, which is commonly common amongst Jake. You know, they, they, they say it's a high percentage, I believe over 60% or, or more, um, you know, Jake's, you so-called Negro men, which are from the tribe of Judah, okay? They say you're the main ones affected by this, all right? Now, they say it's due to our coarse hair and all of that, but really, man, it goes back to um, us being Israelites and us keeping the law of the Most High, all right, which the Lord commanded us not to shave our beards, all right, which I have up here, Leviticus 19 and 27, you should not round, round the corners of your heads, all right, being lineups, which is, uh, you know, something that our people practice, you know, pretty much every day, you know, you should not round the corners of your heads, Neither shalt thou mar, which means destroy, the corners of thy beard. All right, so you're not to shave off your beard, man. Okay, us being Israelites, that's a part of our customs. That's a part of our heritage. All right, to have a uh, to keep a beard on your face. All right, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, his name being Yahweh Shai, he had a beard on his face. Okay, all the men of the Lord, they had beards on their face, man. And if you shave your face, which you you've been you've been taught that, you know, through the oppressor, you've been taught to shave your face. You know, they hit you with all type of uh, Gillette commercials. I remember the commercials growing up. You know, they try to they try to, uh, you know, basically demonize a beard. You know, which times have changed, you know, the, the, the beard is more accepted in this time. But. Nonetheless, when I was growing up, going back to the 90s and the early 2000s, you know, it was, uh, it was, you know, Esau made it a point to push shaving your face, man. But look what happens when you shave your face. You get all type of bumps and, and nasty ass inflammation and pus and, you know, it's disgusting when you look at it, man. Look at this Jake's face. So this is what happens every single time I shave. Look at that, man. Now this doesn't happen to who? This doesn't happen to Esau and the other nations, man. But it happens to you, Jakes. Why? Because you're Israelites, man, and you're not to shave your face off, man. I mean, your your your, your beard off, man. Okay. To maintain that appearance. Your skin gets all irritated. It gets leader. itchy. To you begin scratching and be clean shaved. Look at this guy, Doesn't man. Doesn't matter what I use, a clipper, straight razor, face, nothing works. 
this is the result of you know and I believe he's in the military, you know, and he saw, you know, he pushes that in the military. But, uh, Every time. that shit looks painful, man. I've, I've never shaved my face, man. You know, I didn't have much, uh, facial hair growing up. Okay. I didn't have much facial hair growing up, you know, you know, I was blessed to, you know, to come into the truth, you know, early in my life, but nonetheless, uh, you know, I don't know how that feels, man, to put a razor on your face and, you know, my little brother, he used to, um, he was in the truth and he fell out. But, you know, going back to being teenagers, he's two years younger than me. That dude, he, just, he used to shave his mustache, you know, because that's pretty much all we had, you know. And, uh, you know, us being from the tribe of Gad, uh, every time he would shave his face or his mustache, I'm like, yo, what are you, what are you doing that for, man? It makes you look... It makes you look weird, man. You know, so I never understood that. You know, but this is what happens with you, Jakes, that uh, that that go that route. All right, you get these nasty ass bumps and information, and oh man, it's disgusting, yo. It's disgusting. Makes you makes you makes you <laughs> makes your skin crawl, yo. You know, look at this. Now I used to have a friend going back to uh, high school. He used to shave his mustache. And, uh, you know, when I seen this image, I was reminded of, of that dude. Because he had, you know, he didn't have as much, as many bumps. But he had a few on his, uh, you know, where his mustache uh, is supposed to be, man. Now, this is this is a natural. This is natural. Uh, it's your body telling you not to do that, man. You know? Wow. Disgusting. But once again, Leviticus 19 and 27 says, You should not round the corners of your heads, neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. Right? A beard is a um a badge of manly um uh how does it go in the Bible dictionary? A badge of uh manly dignity. You know? It's a part of being a man is having a beard. And it also, um, you know, it's, it distinguishes between men and women. You know, the Lord put, you know, a lot of things to show you who, who a man is and who a woman is, man. Only a woman should have, only women and children should have no hair, no facial hair, man. Okay. Um, let me go here. Second um, Samuel 10. Okay. Because. You know, our, our 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 men going back into the ancient world, they used to be ashamed of having, you know, their 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 face shaved. You know, this is a uh, Second Samuel ten, and one, and it came to pass after this that the king of the children of Ammon died, Ammon being uh, the so-called Japanese, and Hanun his son reigned of in his stead. Then said David, I will show kindness unto Hanun the son of Nahash, as his father showed kindness unto me. And David sent to com comfort him by the hand of his servants for his father. And David's servants came into the land of the children of Ammon. And the princes of the children of Ammon said unto Hanun, their lord, Thinkest thou that David doth honor thy father, that he hath sent comforters unto thee? Have not David rather sent his servants unto thee to search the city and to spy it out and to overthrow it? You know, which, you know, that's, you know, that's, that's the enemy's mind. But really, you know, King David was doing a kind gesture, you know, keeping the peace, right? Wherefore, her nun took David's servants and shaved off the one half of their beards, right? Because they understood our customs, man. All, right? All Israelite men had beards. So they, they, would, they, they, they took it upon themselves to make mockery of our people, man. By doing what? Shaving half of the face of their beards. Wherefore, her nun took David's servants and shaved off the one half of their beards. You know, and those men probably never seen their face shaved like that, you know? Think of those Jake men. Fell all, all, all off, you know? And shaved off the one half of their beards and cut off their garments in the middle. And then they went to cut off their garments, man. To really uh, uh, embarrass them even to the buttocks and sent them away. When David told it unto David, I mean, when they told it unto David, 
he sent to meet them because the men were greatly ashamed. They were greatly ashamed at the fact that their beards, half their beard, beards were gone, man. You know? Half their beards were gone. You know? It says, because the men were greatly ashamed, and the king said, tarry at Jericho until your beards be, be grown, and then return. Okay? Because that's a part of our customs. And now our people willingly you know, shaving their beards was that which I like I said, you know, we're we're moving towards, you know, the manifestation of the kingdom. We're in the end of Esau's world. So Jake, you know, the Lord has Jake growing their beards back. But uh, you know, going back in time, hey man. Jake didn't rock they didn't rock their beards, man. Shaving was the thing. You know, a, a so called smooth face. You know, you always watch uh when you watch uh cartoons, you know, when I used to watch cartoons, you know, When someone was out of it or something like that. Um, hold on. Got these damn devils right here. <sighs> Shit. But uh, yeah, when I used to watch cartoons, man, they used to all when you know when they was going through some hard times or something, they always put a beard on the man or something, you know, just like in Hancock. You know, in the movie, he's all drunk, he's an alcoholic. And he has a beard on his face. But once he, you know, gets his so-called shit together, then 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 they want to, you know, shave his face. You know? So they Esau always been demonizing beards. But guess what? In the kingdom of heaven, everybody gonna have a beard. All you all you heathens, you're gonna be forced to grow a beard, man. Alright, you know, so that's that's pretty much the point. You know, look at Jake's face, man. I'll play it again. Every single time I shave to maintain that appearance. Of what the military deem as a leader to be clean shaved doesn't matter what I use a clipper straight razor nothing works yeah nothing works because you're not supposed to cut your, uh, shave your beard man all right and it's the Lord that has the, your body to Jake's the Lord ha the Lord is causing this information you know this is the result every time Through. Through. <laughs> so this is uh, Proverbs 3 and 31. All right, because our people learn this from the devil, okay? The scripture says that righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the ways of the wicked seduce them. Proverbs 30, I mean 3 and 31. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways, right? Shaving is Esau's way, okay? But unless you want that uh, pseudo follow <laughs> you know, go ahead. But that shit looks painful. <laughs> God damn. Let me see if I can find a real good one. Oh, yeah. Then you got Jake's. They get it in the back of their head. Oh, that's nasty. You know. But yeah, that's pretty much the point. Don't shave. Uh, stop shaving, Jake. Stop shaving, Jake. Su uh, pseudo folliculitis. Lord's was edifying, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh by Shimei Havashai by Shimei Until next time, Shalom.